Hey everyone, so I'm here with Duncan and Dylan from MemberStack, and what we're gonna do is all make our own job board in 40 minutes to an hour, depending on how long it takes. And we all have some inspiration. We're gonna see how it goes. So I am using, okay, so I'm taking inspiration from Crunchboard. Um, Duncan is taking inspiration from We Work Remotely, and Dylan is taking inspiration from AngelList. So yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna speed it up, and you are gonna see what you can build with this template in not very long at all. So yeah, let's get into it.
Julian here, so let's see, what did we do in an hour? My goal was to remake, or at least take inspiration from Crunchboard, and I think we did pretty good. Um, nothing against whoever designed this job board, but I would have to say that I prefer mine. Um, design is subjective though, so what we did, first of all, was go into the control panel and do 90% of the visual work in about 5 minutes, or less, as you saw. Um, so just went ahead, changed up all of these, also selected the body tag, and just went with a new font. We went with Inter. Yes, we went with Inter. Um, this is not quite Inter, but it has a similar style, just a very kind of clean system UI looking font. So yeah, that was the first thing we did, and then after that we went ahead and changed the pages starting with the home page so we have our filters up here in this little dark bar button over here all of this fun stuff to be similar to what's over here although ours is sticky and there's less info uh, then we also went ahead changed this um, list here so it's far closer um, then once we had that went ahead and made updates to the job board template or sorry, the job post template over here. So it looks far closer to our example over here with everything on the right in its respective boxes. So we got that. Then just checked all of these pages, made sure they're okay, dragged them out of the folder for use because now of course we want it to work as a live site on its own. So we have that, everything is working. So. With that all said and done, I would say the bones of this job board are complete. Now, this would have a pay per job post sort of structure. So the next thing I would do is go into member stack, set that up, configure any custom fields that I have, um, hook up the automation for the job post submission form, which we have a tutorial on. Everything in Webflow here is already set up. That being said, you need to use your own account on make so that would be the next thing that i would do also i'd probably make my own branding that would be a good next step um and then after that i would put some real job posts in here because you can't launch a job board with no job posts and yeah then i would take it to market so really i would say if i was looking to turn this here into an actual business i could probably get that all done in just maybe five six hours total with testing so yeah that's that's what we did here in an hour and i hope this helped hey how's it going so my name is dylan i'm a product designer at member stack and in today's speed run i so the challenge was to recreate or adjust the template the job board template to a similar site kind of styling to, to to another job board that already exists. So I chose to use AngelList jobs as the sort of base template. Uh, they've actually rebranded to work on now. Um, so yeah, use them as the kind of general inspiration. And the two pages I focused on mainly were this sort of homepage and then also the click-through page as you click on a job. So those two mainly. And I started by going to the control panel in the um, in the template page. So the way this is set up, you can go to the control panel, which acts sort of like a style guide. It makes it really, really easy to change everything quickly. So I jump to that page. So I started by changing the font. I noticed that AngelList is using a font called Graphic, so quickly looked for something similar and found that IBM Flex Sans seemed to be a good alternative for, for Graphic, so I added that to Webflow and then added that to the body and then by default that updated all of the fonts on, on the website which was really really cool. Then, so yeah, updated the body and then started updating colors so as you can see the colors for uh, AngelList are much more subdued than the original colors in the template um, so it's updated the CTA color to the shade of black 
and then updating the text color to this okay. dark blue. Then you can see how that sort of applied to the template here. So this is my version, um, created a kind of fake version of the logo to make it feel uh, a little bit different, feel, feel a bit more branded. Uh, and see, so updated the header, updated the subheading here, added this border in and updated the hierarchy, the font hierarchy. And that was really, really easy to change thanks to this control panel page again, which made it really simple to change the text stars. Uh, so they're all, all in one place here, which was very convenient and same for the paragraph, really easy to update that. And of course for the buttons as well. Then actually building the layout was very straightforward thanks to the kind of structural elements that are built into the theme. So things like the spaces and um, yeah, container elements and things like that. So it's really just sort of applying the styling and then moving things around um, and adjusting some padding, which you can see here. So we've got the original page here and then the recreation over here. Um, so yeah, not too dissimilar. It only took probably around 40 minutes to an hour in total. Uh, so not too long at all. And yeah, so this is the top level page. If the user was to click through to one of these, click on view job, they'd be taken to the individual page, which looks like this. Didn't have as much time to focus on this one. Uh, although yeah, not, not too far off. Still a few things to tweak with the layout, as you can see. Yeah, overall the structure works quite well and everything fits into place and works, works as you'd expect, which is really cool and really useful just having all, the, all of the elements sort of built in by default so you don't have to keep creating a divider or um, create a new button style. Um, yeah, just really convenient having that all there straight away. Then in terms of what I do next, obviously we've got the sign up and um, we have sign up and login buttons here. Um, those would, as you can see, we've already got um, so we've already got a sign up page built into the template and the logo is updated because that's set up as a component. So all that would need to be done next would just be to set up the um, app and member stack connect this to the, to the app and then the all of the um, attributes will be will have already been added to this form to this template so it'd be really really straightforward to to get started with with them stack and even adding um, support for SSO which which is which would be cool to add for sure um, yeah and then other than that I think there's definitely a few more styling things I would change uh, just to make it a little bit more consistent. But yeah, overall, not bad at all, considering it was uh, less than an hour, less than an hour in total. Um, yeah, really impressed with the what's possible. Thanks, cheers. Hello, so this is a quick recap of everything I was able to accomplish in about an hour, starting from the generic job board template. So first thing I did, as you saw probably in the speed run, is I went through the control panel and I just updated all of the styling to match my inspiration site, which was we work remotely. Because I only had an hour, I didn't try to get creative. I just tried to copy them as much as possible. I left out this logo section, but I'll, I'll circle back around to that later. Um, so yeah, what I did is change the colors to match we work remotely. I uploaded a new font. I just decided to use fig tree. Um, and then I added a few additional colors just so I could fully match their the we work remotely styling. And as you can see, it kind of came together. I feel really good about it. Got the search bar, got this hero section, the new buttons. I added a featured toggle so that uh, it could be like maybe an upsell uh, for certain companies that want to be featured. I also worked on the job post submission form where I remembered I need to make this progress bar done. There we go. So cool, so you create an account and then you go and you create, an, create a post, which is all right here. The rich text editor is there. And yeah, people would be able to submit a post. I think it just looks really good. Um, 
I'm excited about how easy it was to update the styling and have it match. In this case, if my brand were, we work remotely, I'd be able to, to quickly adapt this to that brand. And yeah, I think next what I would do is I would probably rework, rework the pricing page, map out my flows. I would actually come out of Webflow, maybe get a whiteboard and map out what the user onboarding experience should be. Do I need to do like collect user information? Probably not. Um, do I want them to submit the form before or after they pay? Like there are a couple of different things I could kind of map out and make decisions about. And that's the main thing I'd do. Yeah, is pull out, work on pricing, um, set up member stack so the pricing is reflected and get it all tested. So yeah, that's everything. Hope this is helpful. Hope you enjoyed watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.